All right, grab your special glasses. In just three days, the moon will pass between the Earth and the sun in a rare astronomical phenomenon. Really? I haven't heard anything about this. Where have you... <laughs> right uh -uh. now, people are traveling to southern Illinois just to get a glimpse of the solar eclipse. But first, we're breaking down the science behind it all with Adler Planetarium's Geza Juke. Geza, thanks so much for being with us. Pleasure. Okay, everyone is going nuts about this eclipse. <laughs> okay, are you surprised about, you know, all the excitement? I, I'm just so gratified. Uh, I'm not surprised because eclipses are wonderful things. It's just so much fun. I was down uh, down in southern Illinois for the 2017 eclipse, and it's just magnificent. Okay. Did you cry? Yeah. You oh, did. I love it. That was amazing. Was like, yeah, that's what you hear, though. Everybody just loves it. And you, what I hear, though, is that you have to get the full totality to really have it. Yeah. strike you and here in the Chicago area what percentage are we gonna see we're gonna get 94 percent so close, so close. But <laughs> yeah okay okay now um so how should people prepare themselves of course one of the things they can do is come to the Adler Planetarium because you guys are gonna have a party we are gonna have a party we're gonna have a big block party in front of the Adler some of the streets are gonna be closed off we're gonna have uh, be handing out uh, solar eclipse glasses like they're candy uh, <laughs> we're, going to, uh, uh, we're gonna have a big set of solar eclipse glasses uh, sort of as a prop for doing selfies. Uh, we're going to have people there who are going to answer questions. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have telescopes set up where, where we have uh, safe filters on them. Uh, so if you, the best way to see an eclipse is with friends and your whole community. Yeah, so I know you're going down south by the Carbondale area. A lot of people from Adler are, but you guys are still having this party. So still in Chicago, even though it's only 94%, it's still something to see. It really is. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to, if you have your eclipse glasses on, you'll look up mm -hmm. and you'll see, instead of seeing the sort of round sun, you're going to see a crescent. It's like, what happened? What's going on? It's the sun being eaten. Uh, it's just going to be so, uh, a lot of fun. And the... With 94%, you don't get that full sort of complete gets black and dark outside, but it will look weird. Shadows will be strange, Ooh. and the light will sort of look odd and gray. Uh, so definitely something to, to... Will it feel like dusk, or how does it... Like, a little bit like dusk. Is it something dusk, we're familiar you know? with? It's not really anything you're completely familiar with. Usually when the light is that low, either it's an overcast sky completely, oh. or the sun is near the horizon. Either one, the, the quality of the light is different. So it's gonna it's gonna feel a little strange, a little weird. Well, I remember back in 2017, back here in the Chicago yeah. area, it was too cloudy. Yeah. So we could see bits and pieces of it, mm -hmm. but we're kind of hoping that it clear, it stays oh, clear. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I know. So we kind of tease the science behind it. So what is the science behind how this all works and how it only happens? Ever, I mean, we had it in 2017, this, and now not for another 20 years. Like, how does this all work? Like, really basic, Gaza. <laughs> like, go way Talk to down. us like yeah, we're yeah, five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you got the sun here, the earth here, and the moon goes around the, uh, the, the earth, uh -huh. cir circling around. And, you know, if the, the, the plane of the earth's or, uh, moon's orbit and the planes of the earth's orbit was exactly aligned, then you'd have a solar eclipse every month. But ah. they're not aligned. The Earth goes, the Moon goes around the Earth, sort of a little bit tilted, and so it doesn't always get completely between the, ah, uh, yes. the, the Earth, uh, the Earth and Sun. Uh, so that means that only in certain times of year and certain times when the uh, the orbits are just aligned right that you get a solar eclipse. And then, of course, you have to hope that your part of the Earth is underneath right. the shadow. Exactly. Who's to guarantee that you're going to even see anything? Mm -hmm. And yeah. you hope that the skies are clear, too. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the cool things that we've been reading about is that a lot of you brilliant scientists, researchers, are going to be doing, you know, making observa observations, right, about different things, like animal behavior, other yeah, things, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's sort of all sorts of interesting things going on. Uh, there's some people who study uh, the... Uh, the behavior of the upper atmosphere when an eclipse happens because all of a sudden you've got light and then you've got no light and that sudden change is is pretty unique and so people study that uh, we have some folks at iit who study that uh, then there's other people who are sort of looking at what goes around close to the sun you know the corona and the, uh, and the magnetic fields there and there are other people who study animal behavior uh, and it's it's really fascinating you go to an eclipse and it gets dark and everything gets quiet and so the birds wild. are like, uh-oh, it's nighttime. What about people behavior? Will people start <laughs> acting crazy? Sarah and I might be. <laughs> We're having an after party, a solar eclipse after party here on Monday. Cool. Any tips for us about what should be happening after the eclipse? Oh, well, 
Just party. <laughs> just, just party. You know, dry your eyes after, <laughs> after, after you cry. Ooh, that's a good tip. Lots yeah. of tissues. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, okay, so thank you so much for yes. being here. Have fun down a in pleasure. Carbondale. It's going to be awesome. You can check out the Eclipse Encounter on April 8th. That's Monday at the Adler Planetarium. For more information, head to adlerplanetarium.org or, of course, find them on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great time down there. Thanks, thank Keza. You.